Good evening, welcome. Today, in our first lecture, we are going to learn how to transfer project standards into Revit. So, let's say you are moving into Revit for the first time to use it for an architectural project. This is what you should do. Come on in. Welcome to Revit. This is Revit 2021. This is the welcome page. In the welcome page, we have models and families. Models represent full projects, families represent components. And this is also replicated here. The easiest way to get into Revit is by clicking the new icon under the models. The template dialog box will come up and it will ask you to select the template. Without a template, it will be difficult for you to work effectively in Revit. Let me quickly explain this using Microsoft Word document. If you open the Microsoft Word document, as you can see on your screen, there is always uh, some basic templates people always neglect. For example, if I want to create a resume, opening this project, this particular one, will help me work on my resume faster, edit these pictures, put in my name here, than for me to start working from a blank project. And quality of the template determines the quality of the work. I have created a template for this project, so you don't need to choose anyone here. The links to this template will be in the description below. And then you open. The next thing I want to do is to briefly take you through the Revit user interface. The Revit user interface is pretty simple. Here you have the two bars that enables you to create elements and work on your project. On this section, this is the project browser. The trick I use is you click once here, you click twice here. You click twice here to navigate through the various views for your project. And this here is the door to the back end. Every software has a front end and a back end. So this here is the door to all the settings, especially this tab here, the edit tab button. If you click on it, you can still keep clicking on it and keep clicking on it and you can see various uh, other dialog box that can help you with various settings in Revit. So this is just a brief introduction into the user interface of Revit. As we go ahead, we would explore other things. These are various tabs for various views you open while clicking through the project parser. So the first thing I want us to do is to edit the sheets and put in our project information. And due to the fact that we have a very good template, that will be very easy for us to do. So all you need to do is to double click here and add the project name. For this project name, I want to call it a mixed use apartment. So I'm just going to go ahead and type this. You can now enter a detailed address of the project. I can say this is in, for the address of the project, I'm going to put an imaginary address. For the client name, I'm also going to add an imaginary owner. The first thing I want to teach you is how to edit sheets in Revit. So what you need to do is just double click on the sheet and it opens into an editable format. It opens a new tab where you can edit the sheet. All I want you to do is to select this image, delete it, press the delete button, and drag an image um, anywhere from your computer into this place and then um, resize it. So this possibly may be your own logo and resize it. If you wanted to add any other thing here, you can also do that. Once that is done, click on load to project and click vary the existing version. And so with this, you would have put your logo into this place. And then uh, this space here, I normally leave it for maybe one image in the cover page or the rest. So maybe later on we would attend to that. The next thing I want you to do is to come under your project browser, click on general mode. So let's repeat the process of editing sheet. You can double click on this sheet and then change some of the parameters here. Basically, the most important parameters to change will be the, basically this logo. So I'm going to delete this and then you can drag your logo into this point place it and then use these edges to drag and resize it. So with this, you can easily uh, adjust and edit your logo because I'm using a template to make it faster for you. And then you can also edit some of this text, but there are some here that are called labels. We'll attend to this later on in the tutorials. You can load them back into the project, make sure it's into your project and override the existing values. So with this, you can have you would have created in no time um, a title block as well. To create new title blocks in Revit, all you need to do is to right click on this section, select new sheet, and select one of the title blocks there. And you have a new title block. And it comes in with uh, the already given information about the 
project. So this is how we create title blocks. And to rename it, you right click on it and look for rename. And then you can rename the sheet. You can also rename the title block number. So let me say this is A03. And then maybe this is the site, the site plan. So we would have this and we would have had this. So the next thing I want to do is to create the survey plan. So to, to plot the survey plan in Revit, how to plot a survey plan in Revit.